guys, it's Wendy with loveandstampin.com. I'm so excited that you're here with me today because I have some shark cards for you. That is right, shark. So there's this new bundle in the Stampin' Up! catalog called Shark Frenzy and it is adorable. First of all, I love weird things like not like most people or maybe females. I don't know. Maybe I'm stereotyping too much, but I love reptiles. I love sharks. I love all things like that. The only thing I don't like is a spider. I'll tell you the spiders from the devil. Ugh. Anyways, so I made these shark cards. I have three to show you today. So I'm going to show you right here. Um, I made this one and this one, which has kind of a fun little opening and this one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to flip you down to my stamp table and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks from these three cards. These are part of my color splash. Let me grab these for you really quick. These are the colors for my color splash. Hopefully you can see them. We've got uh, Pacific Point, Balmy Blue, and Mint Macaron. So those are your three colors paired with black and white. And so I'm gonna kind of talk you through these cards, show you kind of what I did, and um, how some of the tips and tricks I used to make them. And then um, that's it. I just wanna, really wanna show you these cards. They're so super cute. This one's my favorite, of course, because it's a shaker card. Eee. And I wanna apologize for the lighting and my shadows. Some of you probably didn't even notice, but others of you were like, what is happening? And you see all this glare happening in my glasses. What's happening is <coughs> it's raining and dark outside. So I had to turn on lights to get enough light to film this video. Is what it is, people. You gotta do what you gotta do. Difficult times, winter, it's difficult. All right, so I'm gonna flip you down. I'm gonna show you these cards in more detail and show you some of the tips and tricks for them. Really fun, really easy color splash. I hope you make something really fun with it too. And if you do, share it on social media and tag me in it and use the hashtag color splash 29. Um, I hope that's right. If it's not right, I'll put it on the screen. But um, yeah, tag me, use a hashtag, let me know that you created something and I might share it on my social media if I can find it. So we are gonna stamp now, let's do it. Alrighty, so let's talk about this bundle really quick. So some of you may or may not be familiar with the song, Shark Do 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 Baby Shark. If you aren't familiar, go to YouTube and look it up. Make sure there's no children around you when you play it. Otherwise, you're going to be playing that same video for the next 14 months consistently, especially a toddler. Anyways, it's a fun little song and I love it, but that's where I believe this stamp set was inspired from. So you have grandma, grandpa, baby, shark, mommy, daddy, I love you, and do, do, do. So... And then you've got your big shark and your little shark. For the big shark, you have a string of pearls, a little hat, a mustache, a bow tie. Um, we've got lips, we have eyelashes, we've got little spectacles, uh, a little one eyeball, what do you call those things? I don't know, there's bubbles and there's a purse. So it's really fun to mix and match and pair all this stuff up. Um, and I also love that these are a colored stamp for you. So you stamp the outline and then you stamp the color of the, that you want in with this guy on top of this guy. So you, there is no coloring unless you want there to be coloring, in which case you use this image and you color it. So there's options. It also comes with these, when you buy a bundle, you get 10% off and it comes with all these die cuts. So you can cut out the baby shark and big shark there's some waves, which I'll show you, bubbles, seaweed, little bitty um, fishies, the hat, a cane, the spectacles, the mustache, the girl hat, the purse, and then there's a little bow tie and regular tie right here, which are cute, and then a bow tie here. So lots of options to do all kinds of fun, fun things with this bundle. Um, here we go, so here's the card. So let me walk you through each one. This one is really simple and straightforward. I used the seaside embossing folder here to emboss the back of this card. You can see there, it's just a layer. And then I used my mint macaron to cut seaweed. 
um, stamped the Big and Little Shark, and then I used the Waves here, this die, to cut these in balmy blue. So what I did is instead of going straight across like this, I just put it out a little bit of an angle and then it created this kind of fun look where it's like the waves are going up. I stamped the sentiment here and I left the inside blank because I want whoever uses this to be able, so for example, if I give this to my daughter to give to her grandpa, then she can stamp grandpa inside or maybe for Father's Day, she could stamp daddy. Um, so that's what this one is and it's very simple and straightforward. Okay, this next one has a little bit more technique to it. I would say this is kind of a medium crafter level. Um, I wanted to make a card for my own mom. So she lives in um, a couple towns over from me now. She was living with me for a little while. I don't see her as often anymore. And I thought it would be fun for her to get a card in the mail for me. I'm really bad about sending cards to my own family. So I thought it'd be cute to make her like a little kid card. So this is her and I've got her little pearls here and her purse. And then this is supposed to be me. And then what I did with the top here is I took a full four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock. And I just ran it through the die cut machine like this. Okay, let's do that really quick because I want to show you the next part of this because it's a good trick. So let me show you. Let me cut this off so that I can actually make this happen here. Do, do, do. Okay, so now you've got this cut. Now I gotta find my, I don't know where my die went. I'll have to find it. Okay, after cutting it, I took a strip of tape, put it across the top, and then I used one of my new blender brushes from Stampin' Up to blend from the bottom up. I wanted the top to look lighter because that's how it would kind of look if you're look when you're looking at water, it's always lighter at the top, but darker the deeper you go. So I wanted it to kind of fade to the top. And then I stamped all the little bubbles. And then for the next part, I used the other border die that's in this set and cut a little wave. Before I cut the wave though, I did measure the cardstock to five and a half inches. So I made it five and a half inches by four and a quarter wide. And this is my trick for doing this part, the panel part. You're going to stick this inside. This is a little small, it's okay. Pretend like it's the width of the card, okay? So you're gonna stick it inside. And then what I want, what I decided, this is currently cut at five and a half. I decided to go ahead and cut an eighth of an inch off the top. So I'm just gonna take my trimmer and go to an eighth and chop it off. Now what it allows for is a little room up here. So down here at the bottom you can see before it was kind of hanging off the end. Now I can line it up exactly with the bottom and you can see there's a little wiggle room at the top. So I just added um, glue over this part, shut this down here, and bam, it then picked it up. And so then you end up with this on the inside. See that? So it's blue on the inside. And now you've got this fun look. I stamped the do 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 down here and mommy right here. So it says, I love you, mommy. And this is just kind of a fun little embellishment, if you will. But I thought what we would do now, I want to just put a disclaimer out there. This is not going to quite fit into my color splash, but I can't help it. I have to do this. I wanted to add little lips to the, there's the eyelash. Are these, these are the lips. I want to add little lips. So I'm going to attempt to do this, even though I've already adhered everything down. I feel like this is risky business right here. You can look away if it scares you. Um, 
If you're feeling extra nervous about what is about to happen, you can just look away. We'll see what happens here. Ready? So we're gonna give her lips. And I'm also going to give, oh, things just went a little bit dark. This one lips, cause I'm a girl. And then my battery must have died on my light. Sorry guys. And then I'm gonna give an eyelash and we're gonna stamp right over the eyebrow that's already there. So now we have a little lady shark and a little girly shark, baby girl shark. So cute. Okay, so um, those are my little additions. It worked out great, even though it was a little scary. I was afraid I was gonna mess it up. Okay, the next card is a hardcore avid crafter card. There's no doubt about it. It's got all kinds of stuff going on. So I wanna show you how I did this um, really quick. Well, the part that you need to see, let's put it that way. So I started out with a, I gotta cut this really quick because I didn't cut it before we started. Just hang tight, people. Um, so I started out with a four by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White cardstock. Now I had this all kind of planned out in my head before I did it, but you could draw it out on paper if you wanted to, if that made you more comfortable. These ones here cut out the bub the holes okay these ones here just cut circles so it doesn't cut it will cut a hole but it also cuts a circle so just be aware that you're going to get circles with this and this is just a solid like cutout. so i just arranged it in two different places and i ran it through two times and then when i got it all cut out I took um, the awesome foam adhesive tape, not tape, but these strips. These are one of my favorite things Stampin' Up! carries because when you take it off, here's the tip. If you peel the backing off before you put it down, it makes it super, super pliable. Like you can literally curve it as little or as much as you want. I'm just wasting this, but whatever, it's fine. You can make it into a circle. Isn't that cool? So it only works if you peel both sides of the backing off. You can't have backing on or it won't like curve around like that. So I just made two circles around my bubbles and then I filled it in with sequins. Now these are not Stampin' Up! sequins. I wanted sequins that were gonna match my cardstock, so I used some that I had in my stash. Don't even tell me for a second you don't have sequins in your stash because I know you do. So pull out something from your stash that's gonna match the card the way you want it to. I used more of those mint macaron seaweeds. I did the doot doot do, stamped the shark baby, cut it apart, added these gorgeous new iridescent pearls. I don't think that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. And then I just, used this guy to cut two pieces of this Pacific Point, which can we talk about the fact that I haven't used Pacific Point on a card and I don't know when. Like, it's been so long, I think. I mean, maybe in a rainbow or something, but not to just like have it be a really strong color on the card. I completely forgot how much I love Pacific Point. It's such a good color. It's a true blue. So, I hope you like my cards. I worked hard on them. They are fun and cute. And I have to tell you that I'd be happy to receive any of these cards. So I'm going to send this one to my mom. Probably going to give this one to my kid. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I do know what I'm going to do with this one. A friend of ours recently had a baby and they had a little boy. And it's actually my husband, one of my husband's best friends. He has two friends that he's super close to. And, um, this guy we didn't think was ever gonna have a kid. And so he had his first baby and the wife is a friend of mine too and she's adorable and wonderful. And so I can't wait to like write this card up. That's, this card's going to them. And so I have a purpose for all of these. All right, thanks so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. If you need any of these products, you can get them in my in online store. Link is below the video. I would be remiss if I did not remind you that celebration is happening. So every 50 you spend, you get a free item 
or you spend a hundred, you can choose a free item um, or two free items, depending on which way you decide. And also the starter kit is an amazing deal. And if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars, you might as well purchase the starter kit because you're gonna get $26 in free product and five packs of designer series paper. It's the six by six packs free. Um, it's $57 if you were to buy them individually. So it's a great deal. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Hi there, my name is Wendy. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so excited that you're here with me. Um, if you're brand new here, my... <laughs> So I will talk to you in just a minute. We're just gonna flip down and do my, that was a weird way to end this video, uh, this portion of the video. Let's rewind, let's rewind. Okay, if, no, okay. This is the hard part, people, about doing YouTube videos, is there's nobody writing a script for me. There's nobody helping me remember all the things I should say and not say, okay.